Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create this object in FreeCAD using the Polar Array. Okay, so for example, we're going to close this, create a new file in FreeCAD. For instance, you have already opened the FreeCAD application. The next thing you're going to do is to select here the workbench and then select the part design. Click the part design and then click create new. Okay, next you click create body and then create sketch. Okay, so next you're going to set this view to top view. Click the top view and then select the XY plane. And then click OK. Okay, so next you're going to create a circle by clicking here. The create circle, click this one once and then point at the center point and then drag hold down your left mouse button and then drag and then click to create a circle next point again at the center and then hold down your left mouse button and then create another circle inside then click so to deactivate the active tool you just simply right click anywhere at the gray right click to deactivate the circle so this time we're going to set the dimensions for every circle okay so for instance the outside circle you click and then click here and then select constraint auto radius set the outside circle to 55 millimeter click okay then click the inside circle click to select and then set the constraint auto radius to 50 and then click Okay, so you have already the two circles. You can move the label by pointing and then drag. Okay, you can see the outside circle is 55 millimeter and the inside circle is 50. Okay, so the thickness means 5 millimeter. Okay, so now you click close. And then you can now click the pad. Okay, click the pad and then set the pad to 20 mm. And then click OK. And then you can now rotate this one by simply hold down your mouse wheel. Hold down your mouse wheel. Point at the center. Hold down your left mouse button and then drag up. You can see you have already pad apply pad on your object. Okay. So this time we're going to go to part workbench. Click this one and then select the part workbench. Okay. So after selecting the part workbench, you click this cylinder okay create a cylinder click this one once and then here click at the model here and then you can select the cylinder here you can double click to set the values for the cylinder and then for example the radius for your cylinder is 3 mm example you change this one to 3 mm 3 millimeter and then the height of the cylinder is for instance 40 and then you can click ok ok so next thing you're going to do is to rotate the cylinder so here with the cylinder active you can scroll down and then click here at the placement to expand okay so now you can see these are the properties for the cylinder so here at the x axis you can set the x to here you can set to 20 and then the y 0 and then z is 1 and then set the angle to 90 degrees here 90 degrees okay so then scroll down click here this arrow to expand the position properties so for the x position you can set this one to two millimeter you can set this one to two uh, the purpose of this is to move the cylinder to the center of your tube okay so you can rotate hold down your mouse wheel and then drag up so that we can see that this cylinder would be center here so that you can make a hole here okay y axis is zero and then set the z to for instance to 10 mm or you can click this one you can see if increases the z axis it will move up the cylinder okay so for instance to 10 see rotate 
to see if you have already centered that one it's already center and this time we can now go to the drop workbench so here make sure that you have selected the cylinder here the cylinder is selected before you click here click at the part workbench and then select the draft tool here and then click here to look for the array tools so click the arrow to show the polar array so click the polar array and then here are the options for the polar array so for 360 degrees meaning it will rotate 360 from the circle and it will create five holes or five number of elements so if you increase this one to six it will make a six holes so seven seven holes okay then change all these to zero the x the y and the z so make sure this are all zeros to center all your holes to make a even distributions of the hole okay then click okay okay so this time you have now the selections for a polar array okay so next you can go back to part design click here at the workbench and then go back or switch to the part click the part and then look for this button this one so you make sure to click the body and then hold down your control in your keyboard hold down the control and then press the array so you have already selected these two object the body and the array by holding down the control and then click this tool make a cut of two shapes so click this one means you have already cut of two shapes so here you have already created a hole evenly distributed within the 360 degrees circle so this time you can now apply so by clicking this one you can now apply you can now apply fillet or chamfer so for example you select the chamfer apply the uh, edges of the shape click this one and then you can set the chamfer for ex for instance to is this one to 0.3 only 0.3 millimeter and then you can click this one to select all edges so you click the all and then you click the okay okay so this time you have now apply a chamfer on all edges of this object so to change the appearance of this you can right click you click the appearance and then right click on the object and then select here for the material click this one and then you can choose all of these default so for instance you want gold material click this one click and then click gold okay so now you have already apply and rotate you have already apply gold material to a object okay so that's all i have to you today on how to use the polar array in god thank you so much for watching so if you like this content please hit the like button then subscribe in appreciation thank you